I'm Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, and I am here with another installment of our anatomy series. So if you don't know, we have a series on YouTube on equipment and now a second one on your dog's anatomy. So knowing anatomy is important for so many reasons. It's very, very important if you want to breed your dog to understand what anatomy is, what a layback of shoulder might be. It's important for you to know if you're grooming dogs because you need to create a balanced outline for any dog that you are grooming and just knowing basic anatomy is, is very helpful. As well, if you're showing a dog, knowing what the basic anatomy is, knowing how different people might interpret it. You have to remember, I am just one person and this is how I'm interpreting it. Um, I can back up how I am interpreting it with like a lifetime in the world of purebred dogs. But again, different people have different ways of explaining things. So that's always really important to remember. But it is important for you to understand what a judge, another person, another exhibitor, another breeder may or may not be looking for in your dog. And then if you're just a general person out there trying to learn more about dogs, or you want to get your first dog, or maybe your first show dog, or even a dog that's involved in any kind of dog sport, knowing what balanced angulation is, uh, will be very, very helpful in you picking a dog that might suit your specific needs. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so here we have our model, Ellie Mae, and these stickers basically are denoting her front angulation for lack of a better word. So we have another installment in the series where we talk about what a good front is and how many different interpretations there could be of a good front. But for right now, we basically have a sticker placed at her withers, at the point of shoulder, and at her elbow for return of upper arm. So this follows the scalpula, and this forms a 45 degree angle to here and a 45 degree angle to there. And if you're thinking of where that 45 degree angle, this is the axis that it sits on. And we draw a straight line back to here, from the hip bone to the pin bone and back to the stifle would be another 45 degree angle. And this creates what we call a dog that has balanced angulation. So let's get to it. Here we have Ellie Mae, we, we need her to be standing more or less four square, showing her front angulation. Then here is her hip bone, and because she's a hairy beast, we're just gonna put another sticker there. And then here is her pin bone, right? So this is her croup. And here is her croup here. And then we run this down to her stifle, which is right here. And then we can see how about like if this is on a 45 degree angle, this is on a 45 degree angle. I mean, this is probably a little shallower than a 45 degree angle, but you can see that her angulation is pretty balanced, right? Like, you know, it's, if we flopped this angle over here, like, flopped it around, you can see that it almost matched and flopped this one around this way. Her angulation is fairly matched. Now, another thing we talk about when we have our dog stacked up, it, a lot of times we can tell if our dog is stacked properly. If we go from the pin bone and we drop a straight line down, it should come down to the front of the back toes, right? And if that happens, that means that the hawk should be in a completely straight up and down line or a 90 degree angle to the table or the floor. And we can see with Ellie Mae that that is happening, right? Another thing when it comes to poodles, seeing as we have a poodle on the table, um, here is the hip bone, here is the pin bone, and having that tail set in the middle shows that you know her tail set is nice and high a lot of people will call this area behind the tail to the pin bone the shelf um, and you can see that she has in fact some shelf now her belly's hanging a little bit low because she's getting a little bit older but here we can see how we are talking about a dog's rear angulation a lot of people say that you know the rear angulation is this swoop obviously that the bend of stifle how much bend there is is important in in some breeds um, also how high or low the hawk is can have some indication of how that dog might move or what people consider their rear to be good or bad but when we're just talking you know basically about rear angulation and balanced angulation this is what we're talking about hip bone to pin bone pin bone to stifle what is this angle in relation to withers to point of shoulder to the elbow and again sitting on this axis here shows us balanced and or unbalanced angulation when we are talking about our dogs 
So I hope that this tutorial helped you understand a little bit more about rear angulation, about how some people might interpret it, balanced angulation when we talk about front and rear angulation on a dog. So I hope that that helped. Hi guys. Thanks for joining us for our latest Leading Edge Dog Show Academy tutorial. Don't forget to go to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com to see some of our premium content and webinars where we go in depth on grooming, training, and so much more. Of course, we would love for you to like and subscribe so you don't miss another video here on YouTube. And if there's something that you would like to see that you haven't yet seen on our YouTube channel, of course, just drop it in the comments below and we'd be more than happy to bring you that content. So once again, I'm Allison from Leading Edge Dog Show Academy and I really, really hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial.